Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I can't believe it has taken me this long to review this style by Aesthetica. This is Aesthetica's Sage in the color RH1488M. We're gonna take a look at this style, break it down. We're gonna talk about the color and review all of the details. Coming up. I purchased this style at Wig Studio One. You can find it there too. All you have to do is go below this video, expand the description box. I will attach a direct product link labeled Find Aesthetica's Sage at wigstudio1.com. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the website directly to this style. You can take a look at all of the colors, the pricing. Remember at Wig Studio One, all Aesthetica styles are an automatic 30% off at checkout. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media, a very active YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram page. Sage is a very popular style by Aesthetica. I'm happy to get around to reviewing it for you. It is a cute little classically inspired bob style, but it does have some really modern, just a whisper or kiss of some wave and texture, which just really set it off in my opinion. Let's first examine this color, this RH1488M. Um, I have seen variations in this color. Some seem to be a little more gold, some seem to be a little more honey-based. And in this case, it seems to be a little more honey-based. So I'm looking at maybe a medium honey blonde with some pale gold blonde highlighting. It's neutral in tone on this piece. It's not too warm, and I'm not noticing any real gold to it. Now, this is the unrooted version of the RH1488RT8. So you will not find a root on this color. And a lot of you have asked, well, what does that little M mean? <laughs> and so that M just implies that the cap is going to be a cream color, as opposed to that kind of rosy skin tone color that is typically used. It's because this is a really light color and it's unrooted and a cream color cap just works really well. So sage in the front, you're gonna see about a nine inch piece around the face. Now that nine inches uh, stretches several inches below my chin. It doesn't seem to be that long. Um, according to my face measurements, which are six and a half from hairline to chin, um, but they do kind of fall around that part and divide out around the face nicely. Um, now this is one of those styles that lays pretty flat on top and at the front. So I'm not going to be able to use my normal heat from my hand maneuver to create any lift at the front. Um, this is not a heat friendly style either. So I'm not able to take safely take my heat tools to it. Um, so you'll see that that it does swoop from left to right and that right piece does kind of come right over the eyebrow into the eyes a little bit. Now it's an attractive look around the face and I have seen some ladies, in fact, I think there's a picture out there on the website where someone has put in a bang on this style and it looks fantastic. So you could certainly put in a full bang or just a little bit of a shorter fringe to make this more manageable for you because this is certainly a very manageable length at just above the collar. So in combination with that front piece about nine inches, that overall length from the crown is about 10, nine to 10 inches overall. It has minimal layering, but what you're noticing here are some of the flips and bends and texturization on the ends. I love that. I just think it's just a whisper of wave, so it's not your choppy beach wave by any means, uh, but you still get a little bit of that casual flair. This would be a beautiful style to go from uh, the office more of a polished, conservative look into something for evening. Or that barbecue at summertime. It's just real flirty. Now Sage does include a temple to temple lace front and left monofilament side part. Aesthetica does a really nice lace front. Sage here is no exception. Let's get up close. Okay, so it does run temple to temple, extends somewhat beyond the temple there. The knots are very finely done. 
They do run the highlight right up to that lace front, but it's not too heavy of a banding effect there. It's very, very natural looking. And what you'll also see is that that monofilament part, it's a seamless monofilament part, and it runs all the way back to the hind crown. And when I show you an inside look at this cap, you'll be able to see that feature really well. There's about an inch to an inch and a half parting space. So they've done a really nice job with some of these realistic features on this style. Sage has a beautiful, beautiful texture and feel. Each one of these fibers is like spun silk. It's very fine, it's soft, it's silky, and it has such a baby fine movement to it. All of these light layers, it just is more beautiful. Every time you toss it, it just seems to look better, doesn't it? It brings out the texture a little bit. So right away, I think you can make some conclusions about other styles that are similar to Sage. I think just about every brand has something, right? Um, John Renault's January comes to mind for this style as like a sister style. It's about right in terms of its the way it lays around the face and the overall length and things. But John Renault's January is going to um, be a little curlier. All right, it's gonna have a little more permatease in it as well. But here's a few notes on the fit here. So Aesthetica tends to run a little large on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, which is petite, petite average. Aesthetica tends to fit an average large circumference better than that petite average. These are very stretchy, roomy caps. They just really expand nicely to accommodate that average average large and I've heard a lot of you say a large now there's no way for me to measure that I'm just going by anecdotal evidence of everybody's input and feedback here so this is a larger running cap I had to cinch it in and crisscross the adjusters just to make a solid adjustment if you need a smaller cap that John Renault's January is probably going to be a better bet for you if you're, if you're less than average in your circumference, John Renault has an average cap size January and they also have a January petite. So just keep all of that in mind because size makes a huge difference uh, when you go to shop for your wig styles. And you will find permatease on Sage. So that permatease is mostly on the top, all around that monofilament part. Um, you're gonna find some at the back and a little bit at the nape. So all around this cap, just to give it that scaffolding, kind of holds it up and holds it into place. I don't think it's too much. It's quite a bit, so I would say it's moderate, but it isn't overdone. Um, it's a soft pillowy type permatease, but you can see that I don't, I'm not getting that mushroom head effect that you can sometimes see when there's just too much permatease. This one has a really nice shape and silhouette. Sage is really timeless and classic in its design, but boy, am I loving this little hint of wave and texture. I think you could really bring out the wave and texture on this style. If you want to use a little bit of product, some kind of sea salt spray, texturizing spray, uh, even just a squirt of water, I think would really, in a scrunch, would bring out this texture even more. Now, I'm not gonna add any product to this style uh, just because I'm not sure if I'll be keeping it yet. Here's an inside look at the cap for Aesthetica Sage. 
This is a very generous lace front left monofilament part assembly. It is seamless and it does extend a little bit back into the ear tab. It's very nice and deep, about a, an inch to an inch and a half there at the shallowest and then moves back into two and a half to three inches here where it, the mouth of the part starts. And that goes all the way back to the hind crown area. So very generous. There's a canvas-like material that covers this closed ear tab, lots of fiber spliced in, an open nape with the uh, hook and pocket type adjusters. You'll see that to accommodate my petite average circumference, I did have to crisscross them. This is a very roomy cap. And again, I feel like it fits average large better than it would be petite average. See, just right out of the box, I didn't use any product, I didn't use any styling, I simply shook it out really well, and then I kind of picked and fluffed it, just to sort of see what this texture was really like. Until you pick and fluff it a little bit, you can't flesh out the true nature of this fiber. So that's all I have done. Let's try with glasses here real quick. I've got my readers here. And readers fit beautifully and securely between the ear and the ear tab on stage. And here's a test to all the glass, full-time glasses wearers out there. We kind of want to know, is it talkable and okay with glasses? And it seems to be. So I can get an ear tuck. At the same time, my glasses arm is fitting nicely into place. So I'm just going to go ahead and move Sage around a little bit and uh, we'll get to know this a little bit more in styling. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you real soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.